to Lesson 2 for Story O, Outlining Software for iOS. This training video will help you get started with your projects. You should watch the first lesson before watching this lesson. To create a new project, select the plus sign. Enter a name for the project and click Create. To launch the project, select it in the list of projects. Now, before I do, if you want to reorder the list of your projects, you can simply select the project and drag it to the position desired. Now go ahead and select the project. You will be taken to the main view, which was explained in Lesson 1. But since this is a new project, there are no segments, no sequences, and no index cards. So let's create one by selecting the plus sign. You will be prompted to create either a segment or a sequence. When you first start a new project, you must start at the top level and create a segment. I'm going to enter Act 1. Assign it a color and click Create. Notice that the segment is created at the bottom of the screen. Let's attach a sequence to this segment. Click on the plus sign again, but this time select Sequence. Enter a name for the sequence, which can be anything you'd like. I'll enter Scene 1. Now all sequences must be attached to a segment. If you select Choose, you will see a list of segments. We only created one, Act 1, so I'm going to select that one and then click Create. We have now created our first segment and attached a sequence to it. Let's now add an index card to this sequence. Select the three dots on the sequence card and select Manage Index Cards. On this screen, select the plus button Enter a title for the card, say, Beginning, and enter some text on the card. You can click the check mark on the bottom of the screen or click on the back button to save the card. To return to the main view, select the back button again. Now let me show you a sample project that has an act scene structure. Let's look at the project Shakespeare's Hamlet. Let's look at how this project is set up. Down here, you see the segments are all acts. The scenes are here as sequences. I'm going to add a new act, which doesn't make sense because Hamlet has only five acts, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's add a new act. To add a new segment, click on the plus button. You will be prompted to create a new segment or a new sequence. I'm going to select Segment and name it Act 6. Next, I'm going to assign this segment a color. And I'm going to try to select a color here that I have not used in the previous segments. So I'll select a nice deep red color and then click Apply and then Create. So if you look down at the bottom of the screen, you will see the new segment, Act 6. If I wanted to change the color to brown, for example, select the segment and then click on Edit. Select the color wheel. Select the new color. Select Apply. And then select Save. Next, Let's add a sequence to this new segment, which in this case would be Scene 1 for Act 6. Select the plus button again, but this time select Sequence. Enter Scene 1 for the name, and then choose a segment to attach this sequence to, which in this case would be Act 6. When selected, click Create. 
the new sequence is created on the timeline. And as you can see, it is attached to the segment Act 6. You can then drag the sequence anywhere you want on the timeline. Now, since we don't need the sequence, let's delete it. Select the three dots on the sequence for Act 6. Then select Delete Sequence. Notice the warning. This will also delete all index cards attached to this sequence. That wraps up this lesson. In the next video, you will learn how to export your project to Microsoft Word and how to share your project between devices. You will also learn how to move your project to the desktop version of Storio.